हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे आई एम शेयरिंग माई इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस एट द एक्सेंजर इफ यू आर प्रिपेरिंग फॉर द एंगुलर एंड जावा इंटरव्यूज मेक श्योर टू वॉच टिल द एंड आई हैड अप्लाई फॉर द एंगुलर एंड जावा डेवलपर्स सो दे हैव स्टार्टेड विद द एंगुलर क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स लुक ऑन द क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ एच टी टी पी इंटरसेक्टर एंड हाउ How you used it? So they are except how to explain intersector HTTP request and response globally, and how you used for the token based authentication and for the login. So HTTP intersector are used for the authentication and login. So they are accepting uh, need to explain the HTTP intersector. What is the inter in HTTP intersector and and how you used in your project. that they are accept the second question was how do you manage the form in the angular angular provides the two way to handle the forms first one is a template driven form it is easier and quick to build using the html based form logic uses directive like a ng model and second one is a reactive form it is more scalable and powerful and uses the form group form control and better for the complex form and validation and in interview uh, it is good to say i prefer the reactive form for the better scalability and control especially in the enterprise app that you can mention in the interview and third question was what is the ng content and when would you use content projection so ng content is used for the content projection inserting a dynamic content into a component and it is used for when you want to create a reusable cards or model component and allow user to pass the custom content inside it it's help to design the flexibility and reusable components in the angular that you can mention the fourth question was explain how angular handles the two way data binding so angular uses the syntax like ng model for the two way data binding it combine the both property binding and event binding under the hood so you can explain what is the property binding and what is the event binding and how it is work so whether it is input change and model update or vice versa it mostly used for the template dri driven form you can mention these things as well and next question is how do you optimize the angular app for the performance this is very important question this question is asked in many interviews like capgemini tech mahindra it this is common question so here is the few technique we can explain this uh, answer of this question this is use uh, we can use the change detection strategy on push to reduce the unnecessary dom check uh, we can use the track by in a ng for loop to op optimize the list of rendering we can use the lazy, lazy loading features like that we can answer of this questions in the next section they have asked uh, about the some spring boot related question so the first question was what is the dependency injection in the spring and how you can implement so uh, dependency injection is a design pattern where the dependency of the classes are injected by the framework and in the spring we can use the some annotations like atowired you can explain how atowired work what is atowired and how we can con use the constructor injection or settle injection to inject the dependency it's help to uh, writing a logic coupling code that you can explain the next question is how you work like with the spring boot and how do you implement uh, build rest api so i explained the spring boot specify the backend development so we for the creating a rest api we can use the annotations rest control and you can explain the what is the rest control and how it is work so use the mapping like get mapping post mapping like that you can explain or it will return the json data via the respond entry you can also configure your application in the application dot property file that things you can explain the next question is a how do you implement the exception handling in the spring boot so i explain uh, control advice and exception handler control advice is for the to handle the exception globally and exception handle for the specific ex exception type only so you can return the custom error respond using the standard er errors like uh, message and status 
the next question was explain http status code like 200 400 404 and 500 so 200 okay is for the request was successful 400 is for the bad request client side error like invalid input and 404 not found is for the request resource does not exist and 500 is like for the internal service error something went wrong on the server the next question was what are dtos and how do you use them in a service layer architecture so dtos data transfer object are the plain java classes used to transfer the data between layers they help in the decoupling the internal domain model from the response data and they are often used to avoid the exposing entities directly the next was uh, how do you secure your apis so we can use the jwt or spring spring security so i Use the JWT JSON web token for the token based authentication. After logging, the server returns a token and client and it's in authorization header for the further request. And server verification token are using the spring security that you can mention. And you can also use the auth to for the enterprise level apps that you can mention. And next is how do you connect a database in the spring boot so every java full stack developer know how database we can connect in the spring boot this is very common question and the steps are like configure the db urls username password in the application dot property we can use the at the rate entity to define the model and create a jpa repository interface spring boot automatically create a sql table and method like save find all etc that you can mention so these were the actual questions asked to me in my accenture round first i hope this video helped to you prepare the angular interview questions and java full stack in the next video i will be cover my second round of interview questions so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends who are preparing for Java full stack developer. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.